boy Thug and I'm back with another one. Here in this video, I'll be showing you an easy off the radar facility, off the radar multi car duplication glitch. Hell to the fuck yeah. With that being said, if you have not did the facility off the radar glitch, it will be linked in the description. Hell to the fuck yeah. So with that being said, we're going to get straight into the requirements of our duper. Hell to the fuck yeah. Duper will need to have a facility with the car they want to duplicate inside the facility. Hell to the fuck yeah. You already know what it is. Another one. So the duper will also need to have a lot of Sanchez's bought inside of any garage except their motorcycle club. The duper will also need to have a mobile operating center with personal vehicle storage inside of Bay 3. Hell to the fuck yeah. With that being said, the duper will also need to have a Avenger to be able to hit right D-pad option inside of their facility. So you can have an Avenger, any special vehicle that lets you go into your mod shop inside of your facility. With that being said, we're going to straight get started with this glitch. Hell to the fuck yeah. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a vehicle outside to our friend that is off the radar with the facility off the radar glitch. Now guys, you know you can do this with any off the radar glitch as well as any property such as the facility, the nightclub, the arena, the auto shop. The casino okay with that being said we're gonna just have our friend come straight up in and sit in our vehicle hell to the fuck yeah as you can see my friend is off the radar you do not see him on the map hell to the fuck yeah you already know what it is another one so with that being said that what we're gonna do is make our way straight back into our facility once we make our way straight back into our facility, we're going to get into any vehicle that allow us to press right D-pad option on it. Hell to the fuck yeah. Yeah, y'all already know what it is. Once again, once you get back inside your facility, you're going to go to any vehicle inside your facility that gives you the option to press right D-pad option. Hell yeah, that's what you're going to do. Now, whatever vehicle you decide to get into, you will be frozen once you get inside that vehicle. So what we're going to do, we're going to run straight to our Avenger. We're going to hop straight into our Avenger. Once we hop into our Avenger, we're going to hit the right D-pad option. Once we hit that right D-pad option, we should be froze. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit the pause button. If the double tap pause do not unfreeze you, you're going to go ahead and go to online. You're going to go straight down to purchase shark cards, and it should kick you straight out of your Avenger. Hell to the fuck yeah. Now with that being said, let's continue this glitch. Now what we want to do is grab the vehicle that we are duplicating. The vehicle we are duplicating, remember you guys, I said you want to have inside your facility. So we simply have this Issy Classic. It sells for the most in the game if you do not have frozen money services. So with that being said, we're going to drive this vehicle. And what we're going to do is drive the vehicle straight down to the parking spot. As you can see, we was able to drive the vehicle. So once you see you able to drive, we're going to make our way outside. The purpose of doing the Avenger step and getting into our IC, we wanted to make sure we can drive our vehicle inside our property. Hell to the fuck yeah. Once you're able to drive your vehicle inside your property, make your way right back outside. Tell your friend to drive away from you so you can request a Sanchez from your motorcycle club. Once you request that Sanchez from your motorcycle club, you will notice that that Sanchez will not arrive on the map. Hell to the fuck yeah. Yep. Another one. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull up our map. 
to make sure that Sanchez did not arrive on the map. Hell yeah. So as you can see, we do not see no vehicle on, so we're going to make our way right back into our facility. Now this time, guys, we're going to drive the vehicle that we want to duplicate straight to this certain spot in your facility. Now, there is a trick to doing this glitch at the facility, but you know your boy Thug got you, and I'm going to show y'all how to hit this 100% every single time. So, we're going to go get into our vehicle, and Rockstar like to give us a little rubber band on some vehicles. So, with that being said, we're getting it into the vehicle we want to duplicate. We're going to try to drive the vehicle down to the base of the casino, I mean um, facility, and as you can see, it's pulling us. If it keeps giving you the rubber band pull, what we're going to do, we're simply going to get out our vehicle. We're going to hold down on our D-pad option to the story mode wheel alert, and we're going to back out. Then we're going to do it again at the same time as getting into the vehicle. Then we're going to back out, and now, as you can see, we're able to drive the vehicle straight down. Hell to the fuck yeah. Now, this glitch is a no custom plates car duplication glitch. And with that being said, you just want to pull your vehicle just how you see me pulling it now to block off our doors. So we should be able to TP into our vehicle. Hell yeah. You already know what it is. So as you can see, we're pulling it to where we know where we can TP in and out of the vehicle. We're going to hit triangle to TP in and out of the vehicle. Perfect. Once you're able to TP in and out of the vehicle, we're going to stand next to the facility exit. We want to get that facility exit alert to put pop up and we're going to hit triangle to see if we can teleport into the vehicle from the exit hell to the fuck yeah and if you can tp from this location into your vehicle you have done the glitch correctly hell to the fuck yeah now what we're going to do we're going to hit Triangle and X at the same time to TP into the vehicle and take it outside just like that. Hell yeah. Must I say it again? Another one. Now, once your friend get out of the vehicle he is in, your plate number will change. And you can take that plate, that vehicle straight to your mobile operating center. So... You're going to get out of it and the plate number will change. Once the plate number change, you're going to call your mobile operating center up and drive that vehicle straight into your mobile operating center. And with that being said, y'all, it's your boy Thug, man. And I don't need to say no more, but another one. And I'll see y'all in the next one with another one. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.